Hello everyone at One Life. My name is Pete Hughes and together my wife B, we lead a church in central London called KXC and it's an absolute joy to be with you as we continue this series studying Nehemiah together. And today we arrive at Nehemiah chapter 4, which is the part of the story where Nehemiah and his buddies begin to experience some resistance as they rebuild the city of Jerusalem. Now here's the the lesson of this story, that nothing of the kingdom goes uncontested. As soon as you step into the purposes that God has for your life, you can guarantee there will be some resistance. And the resistance in the passage today comes in the form of Sambalat and Tobiah, these two guys that begin to mock Nehemiah and his friends as they rebuild the walls. Listen to some of this then. Um, Sam Ballet says, what are those feeble Jews doing? Will they restore the wall? And then listen to this from Tobiah, who says, what they are building, even if a fox was to climb upon these walls, they would fall down. Now that, by the way, is ancient trash talking. Trash talking has developed a lot over recent years, decades and centuries. But in the ancient world, that comment about the fox would have gone very, very deep. Here's the point. As you begin to press into what God has for your life, you can expect the enemy to resist you and mock what you're doing. So when we experience that kind of mockery, here's the model of how we respond. And it's the model that you've been using through the series. You see the threat. You respond in prayer and then you begin to act. That's what Nehemiah and his friends do. They see the mockery that's coming against them. Then they pray, verse 4, hear us, O our God, for we are despised. So they turn the mockery into prayer. And then here's the killer verse that we're going to focus on, verse 6. So this is the response. We rebuilt the wall till all of it reached half its height for the people worked with all their heart so they see the threat they turn into prayer and then they act they continue to rebuild the wall and they rebuild it with all of their heart that's a great model for how to live life live it wholeheartedly so as you step into the purposes of God for your life you can expect some resistance and here's how we respond see the threat respond in prayer and then act partner with what God's doing in your life and do it with all of your heart. Great to be with you today and sending huge love. God bless.